endocrine disruptors in your cosmetics and your makeup. Yes, they are there. Endocrine disruptors can screw up our hormones. So we're talking about how to avoid those in your cosmetics this week. So stay tuned. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video out to help yourself and other women get off the hormone roller coaster. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, and that's what I do. I'm a functional medicine doctor, family medicine doctor, and registered dietitian. And I help people in my functional medicine practice and through this channel get off the hormone roller coaster and reclaim their hormone health. So today we are talking about in that in the form of endocrine disruptors. So last week I did start the discussion on endocrine disruptors and examples of those. So I'd love for you to check out last week's video, but just to briefly review, endocrine is our hormone system and disruptors are toxins, ingredients, preservatives, things that can screw up our hormone levels. So it's hard to determine a specific safe level of these ingredients. The, they are, like I said, in pollutants and toxins and preservatives. They can cause irregular periods, um, male infertility, female infertility, infertility, estrogen dominance, meaning our estrogen being a lot higher than our progesterone. And too many women are already suffering from that in their late 30s to early 50s. So adding extra things that we put onto our skin that gets directly absorbed causes even more problems. You can have acne, you can have increased risk for breast cancer from these ingredients as well. So we might as well just keep them out, especially since today we know about them, we have options. It's not like the past where we were kind of in the dark about it. So you're more vulnerable to these ingredients when you're pregnant, when you're breastfeeding, or when girls are going through, girls or boys are going through puberty. So you want to avoid them during those times because they can definitely screw up puberty, screw up the developing hormones, the balance that's, that's starting to develop there. And then obviously with pregnancy and breastfeeding, you can be passing it on to the infant. And then men can pass it on through their sperm as well too. So we do want to be careful. So the problem is the cocktail effect. It's hard to trace individual levels, but when it all comes together, when we're exposed to all of these ingredients in so many different ways, not just through our skincare and cosmetics, that's when it all starts to add up and we see these toxic effects that add up over time. Last week I talked a lot and in my other video on xenoestrogens, and I'll link that above, um, I talked about phthalates and parabens. And those are some of the hardest hitters as far as their effects. So the phthalates have a uh, effect on the testosterone. So both women and men need testosterone, especially men, but women do need a certain level of a healthy testosterone. So they can lower that and in men they can um, impair the the sperm and their ability to do their what they're supposed to do. And then in women, they can screw up our, our follicles and um, cause problems there. And parabens, um, anything that has the word paraben, P-A-R-A-B-E-N at the end of it, in the ingredient list that you should read whenever you pick up anything that you're going to eat or put on your skin, um, they are estrogenic. So they can act like estrogens. They can be those fake estrogens, so xenoestrogens, so screwing up our balance even more. So we want to watch out for those. And then you also want to look out for these really kind of long names that are hard to pronounce. But first, before we go into those, link or comment down below with your favorite clean cosmetic product or if you have any questions on the product or the ingredients that we're talking about here and again i'll talk about some ways we can find these clean products so the other ingredients that we want to watch out for some of them there's a lot of them it's hard to really cover all of them here and i did cover a lot of them as far as in our daily lives in the xenoestrogen video that i want you to check out but D4, so it's octamethyl tetrasiloxane, I think. <laughs> so it's estrogenic. It can act like a fake estrogen also, and it can screw up your thyroid. And your thyroid sits here. It's a small gland that sits there, controls our metabolism, our temperature, our uh, impairs, I mean, contributes to good, healthy sleep and weight, screws up our weight through the metabolism if it's off. So we can affect a lot of different systems. EHMC, ethyl, hexyl, 4, methoxy, cinnamate. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying these right, but it, it's, it's um, abbreviated as EHMC. That is also estrogenic and, and can screw up our thyroid. The parabens I talked about, 44% of cosmetics 
in a survey had some type of paraben in them. They use them to fight a lot of these ingredients to be preservatives, to fight bacteria in the makeup or the cosmetics. So that's why they're using them. But there are more natural ways we can do that. And then the phthalates are used in lipstick and nail polish. Last week I talked about how they're used in fragrance um, to make fake fragrance. So you want to uh, instead choose things with essential oils as fragrances. Um, they have... There's also some other ingredients that have been linked to cancer. Oh, phthalates are also used in feminine care products. So the things that we use to absorb the blood when we bleed, and that's put against our reproductive organs, like right there being absorbed. So we want to be really careful about what we choose there as well. Different subject, but definitely be careful and use the more natural for, um offerings that we have now. So talc is another thing that's, that has asbestos in it. That can be used in the powders that we put on our face, um, the pressed powder, the loose powder, that kind of thing. And then ethanolamine, DEA, TEA, uh, NEA, ETA, those are all abbreviations to look for. Those can be cancer-causing hormonal cancers. So we do want to watch out for those as well. And in some surveys, they have an NA survey, they found that parabens and phthalates were in menstrual blood. And then in other surveys, they found, or studies, they found they were in breast milk. So you just see how this is adding up and getting absorbed into our reproductive systems. So the effect that they can have on your hormones are, you know, uh, they block the hormone receptors and they can act like a fake hormone. They can create oxidative stress, which can impair our DNA. So these free radicals that we hear about in chronic disease, in heart disease, in, um, in diabetes, that kind of thing, those big chronic diseases that we hear about, that can be from oxidative stress. So we have issues with that from these extra ingredients, these toxins, and they can create more oxidative stress and damage our genes, our DNA. Um, and they can contribute to things like metabolic syndrome, where our liver and our blood sugar and our cholesterol and all that goes a bit crazy. And we already have high enough risk for that from our diets. So, and insulin resistance as well, when your body doesn't respond to insulin and you're more likely to get diabetes and it contributes to fat. Um, so these, believe it or not, what you put on your skin, what you're wearing every day can contribute to these chronic diseases. Screw up our thyroid too, like I said. So lots of reasons to avoid these, lots of reasons for our future generations, because when this gets in our body and our reproductive system, then we can pass that damage on to a developing baby and they can have problems with their different organ systems. So let's move on to the happy part. Now we have a lot of clean brand makeup brands available out there. We don't have to choose these other ones. One of my favorites is I use Honest. Um, I use their mascara. Um, like I talked about last week, the, the lip care from Dr. Hoshka. Um, beauty Counter is a great one. I haven't tried Beauty Counters. Comment down below if you have a favorite Beauty Counter product. I'll, I'll go try it. Um, well, people, RMS Beauty, Juice Beauty is another one that I haven't tried that I'd like to try. And I've used some other Honest products. Um, I like that company. They do their research and all of these companies I've listed do as well. There's also the EWG, the Environmental Working Group Skin Deep app that you can get and look up your product, your favorite hair care, or not hair care, well, yes, that too, but skincare or cosmetic product and see how it ranks. And then you can find others that rank better if yours doesn't rank so well. And you can also use an app called Think Dirty. I was having trouble remembering that one last week, but that's what it's called, the Think Dirty app. It's a great way to look up your products as well. So take that seriously. Go out, check out what's in your medicine cabinet, what's in your vanity drawer. Get the dirty stuff out, bring some clean stuff in and comment down below with your favorite idea about that. Also want to invite you to check out my Mighty Network. It's a private Facebook group all about reclaiming your hormone health for women in the ages of late 30s to early 50s. We want to get off that hormone roller coaster. There's tips, tricks, recipes, support, um, articles that I I moderate. I write the articles. I'm posting most of the posts. I'm giving out, I mean, I'm putting out surveys and doing live Zooms once a month. We all, I also offer as included with that monthly um, membership fee for the Mighty Networks, 
uh, my Emerge Hormone Balance course. It's an eight week course. You get every week, you get a different um, thing to focus on. It comes with a nutrition app, all about cleaning up that your life so you can get your hormones more balanced. So that's included with the Mighty Network, which is called Reclaim Your Hormone Health. So subscribe, share, and link, and I'll be back next Friday to talk about more hormone balance uh, tips and tricks and to get you off the hormone roller coaster. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. Thanks so much for joining me.